How about a big round of applause for our pianist here tonight who greeted us as we were entering. We're gonna hear from her again. That was Natasha Debra. Hey everybody, welcome to the fourth annual Celebration of Learning Awards. My name is Chris May and I am a very proud graduate of Mohawk College from what we like to say back in the day. <laughs> um, how many people have been to either or all of the previous four Celebration of Learnings? I'm assuming if you put your hand up then you've got a name badge on because you're staff and faculty. Good. Excellent. I'm just checking out to see how many students have snuck in here. Um, in my professional life, I am normally, normally, uh, a weather, uh, a television broadcaster full time. I work for the Weather Network, and I'm normally on from 3 p.m. till 7 p.m. So obviously, right now there is somebody on in my place. <laughs> so, but I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have got there without perseverance, without an awful lot of tenacity. And that was part of what I learned in my years in the, in the broadcasting course at Mohawk College. I, by graduating back in 1996, if you do rough math, that's 22 years ago. Yay! How many people are even 22 years old out here? <laughs> oh, good, again, the staff. <laughs> so I will be your Master of Ceremonies for tonight, as I have been for the past few years. And i got to be honest, I... I am buzzed on a night like this because this is great because we didn't have these back when I went to Mohawk. Um, we had some celebratory events, but they were all in the uh, they were all in the theater, which was nice, but not like this. Like you guys are something special, and there's a buzz in the room here tonight as well. And I just love being a lot around now, uh, eventually future alumni. Uh, a lot has changed since I was a student at Mohawk, but their commitment to seeing its students reach their true potential, uh, future ready students of Mohawk College has never ever wavered, never ever wavered. I never forgot my time as a student at Mohawk. I'm very proud to be celebrating along with you. You're here because of, you're an outstanding student and we want you to know that. So Mohawk College puts forth the effort to recognize that here tonight. The Celebration of Learning is Mohawk's premier awards, and the best part is, I'm just an MC, man. You all are the stars. Give yourselves a hand. You're stars. <laughs> now, <laughs> in addition to us being here in this, uh, in this beautiful Carmen's Banquet Center, we're also broadcasting this live over the internet because there's a lot of people who would have loved to have had 10, 20, 50 tickets for their parents and, and families to be here, but you know, that's not possible. So everybody gets an opportunity to see it on the internet. Now, I also know that it's captured and, and then it's repurposed for YouTube afterwards. So while you're here and you're thinking, oh no, I gotta call somebody, you'll get to see it afterwards on YouTube, and I'll be honest, I was going back just getting an idea for how I wanted to approach tonight so I didn't make the same jokes twice. Uh, I started looking back at the 1990, or 1996, the, uh, the 2016 and the 2017, so they're up there. <laughs> they're up there, so be careful of what you're doing at your tables. Um, if you're on social media, and I know that you are, uh, there are a couple of things that we want you to know about. First, hashtag for tonight is, Hashtag Mohawk C-O-L. Hashtag Mohawk, capital C, capital O, capital L. Four, there it is. Yeah, celebration of learning. So please, let everybody know how much fun we're having tonight. Let's be honest. Let's let everybody know how much more fun we're having tonight than they're having. And uh, bring it on back home with hashtag Mohawk C-O-L. Be also, uh, be also, uh, be sure to also, that's what I meant to say, check out the photo booth in the lobby. A lot of you were. Those were the people that we had to wait on before we got to start tonight because the lineup was long and I didn't want to get in your way. But it will be in the lobby afterwards and it will be available for you to use during dinner and at the end of the night as well. So one thing to note for all of our award winners or award recipients for tonight, after you receive your award right up here on stage, you're going to be directed out into the lobby to have your picture taken by Sean and Josh from Mohawk's communications team. Your photo will be a part of a special feature that will be placed in our Hamilton Spectator on April 7th. So look for that. 
because that's cool. Please take your award with you for the photo because you want everybody, grandma and everything to see that. That's the best part. So whether you're here in the audience or you're here at home, we have a great show planned for you. We're going to hear more from Natasha, our pianist, a little bit later. We also uh, welcome performances from Spirit Drum Vision, or Spirit Vision Drum, as well as Mohawk's own student jazz trio. And I saw these guys uh, warming up earlier in their sound check. That is Nick Rhodes, Dan Cunningham, and Lucas Hibbs. And that's our trio. They're going to be up in a little bit. We'll get underway with our first set of awards shortly, but before we do, I would like to call a very, very sweet human being to say a few words and to officially open tonight. I had a chance to chat with her at, our, at the table and she and I have had discussions over a number of things, both at Mohawk and over at, a, at another college uh, where, we, where she works dedicated her entire life to uh, the indigenous nation and in a number of other things I do on the side, I also continue to work in that as well. Ladies and gentlemen, Bertha Skye is of the Cree Nation. She was born in northern Saskatchewan. She began her culinary career at a young age when she cooked at a number of different residential schools when she met her husband, Hubert Skye. Bertha moved to Six Nations of the Grand River Territory uh, where she lived for over 50 years. Her passion for cooking led her to the 1992 World Culinary Olympics as part of a team of indigenous chefs who competed against 14,000 other chefs. And they went on to win the most medals of any other team, including the Grand Gold. That's right. I've tasted some of Bertha's cooking. Oh, if only we had enough for everybody tonight. <laughs> also sipped cedar tea, which is quite lovely. Uh, we're most grateful to have Bertha as part of the team at Mohawk College as an elder in residence, where she provides learning in an indigenous and holistic way through sharing, teachings, traditional crafts, and you guessed it, cooking lessons. Bertha's presence in the indigenous center enhances the student's experience during their educational journey. Her guidance, stories, and kindness support the student and the staff in a meaningful way, helping to broaden the understanding of Indigenous culture and experience. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Bertha Sky. Thank you, President McCurley. Um, if I didn't mention it off the top, and I don't believe I did, um, I may see those who have not graduated at some point in your Mohawk time, because I also, I also am the, the roll call uh, announcer for all convocations. So I came to it with a keen sense of names and, ling and uh, linguistics, and I have had an absolute blast with all commencement ceremonies because you guys, when you graduate, that's it. That's like, whoa, man, look what, what, I, look what I've done. And <laughs> if you think we're having a whole lot of fun here tonight, you guys go off the hook on convocation day as you're walking up the aisle, as you're coming in the back, as we're telling you to shh, as you're standing behind me, and then as you're handing me your card with your name, and you're handing me the ticket they give you to uh, get your uh, cloak back at the end of the day. And no, you keep that one. You're going to need it later in the day. You just hand me everything. You didn't take it all. <laughs> so uh, it's a heck of a journey, and I am really pr privileged to be a, a part of it. I never, as I mentioned, I never lost my, or never gave up my Mohawk roots. I may have graduated and then traveled a lot. You can ask me about that afterwards, that's not for here. Um, but when I came back to this country, uh, I immediately reintegrated myself and had to pick up somewhere, and back to Mohawk I went, and it was through the faculty that I was able to find and plant new roots. So I am forever indebted to uh, my time at Mohawk College and the faculty that, uh, that I had the privilege of being with. So tonight we're giving out 31, tonight we're giving out 31 awards in a number of different categories. To start things off with our first set of awards, I'd like to call on Mohawk's Vice President, Student and Alumni Services, Dr. Wayne Poirier. And that's how this night will proceed. 
Just like that. Are you having fun yet? <laughs> Thank you, Pearl. <laughs> Victoria, Chris, Lynn, and Tina. Congratulations to our first group of winners here tonight. Our next two awards are the Athletics and Recreation Awards. Quick side note. As I do, and I, I, I get asked about this all the time, how come we can never see you, the faculty ask, in between convocations? We can have 11 over a week, never see you in between them, because I'm at Debark in your athletic center. That gym is amazing. If you, yes, yes it is. But I will work out two, three times a day if I have to, and anything to keep my energy up. So. I, I'm looking forward to the Athletics and Recreation Awards. Presenting these awards are Michelle Ball, Director of Student Engagement and Athletics, Matthew Schnarr, Supervisor of Recreation and Student Engagement, and Bernetta Shime, Varsity Coordinator. Did you change your hair? <laughs> There's something different. It's, I need my reading glasses. Um, <laughs> thank, you, thank you, Michelle, and congratulations to all of our athletics and recreation winners. I'd now like to invite Andrea Bernessi, uh, Student Events Coordinator, to introduce the next set of awards. Helping Andrea present these awards will be Glenn Steves from Mohawks Foundation uh, Board and Claire Weber, Jeffrey Collins from Student Life. Thank you very much, Andrea, Glenn, Claire, Jeffrey, and congratulations, Maggie. I will see you at our table three at some point. And uh, of course, Holly, unless you have to do something else. <laughs> 430 hours. She was at my, she was at, she was discussed at length at our briefing when I came into the uh, to the debark to discuss the run of the evening. And I was like using an abacus a and a slide rule to try and figure out how she could fit that in to a calendar year. It's unbelievable. So congratulations again. Congratulations, Pramit. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, Maria. Uh, laughing yoga. Just going back over my notes, really? Because I remember always getting kicked out of yoga when I started laughing. <laughs> now, he mastered something. I got to talk to you, Pramit, afterwards. How did you get away with that? To present the Alumni Outstanding Student Leader Award, I'd like to call on Wendy Mackey, Director, Alumni Relations. Helping Wendy to present the award this evening is Lindsay Diamond, Student and Recent Alumni Engagement Officer. Right. Congratulations, Maria. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you, Lindsay. Wendy and Lindsay are two that you'll absolutely need to know upon graduation because uh, alumni services, it's invaluable. As you move on in life, tr trust me, I know, uh, you're going to need to, to dig back to the roots that you had, that you had made at one point doesn't matter where your life takes you and then may bring you back, maybe it doesn't, but it's always good to have that resource and that's what Mohawk does to reach out to each and every one of you. We make the effort anyway. Uh, after It depends on what you want out of it. If you get back to us, then we've now connected. So to use that resource because it's invaluable. And with that, we conclude the first half of our awards ceremony. All right, my friends. Just before... I said that we were going to take a short recess, that we would have entertainment for you during dinner when it is, we have uh, three, different, three different entertainers. We're gonna kick things off right here before we get our first course. I'd like to welcome the Spirit Vision drummers and singers who are here to come together in celebration, peace, and well-being. Ladies and gentlemen, the Spirit Vision drummers and singers. I got a sneaky suspicion 
that we were very fortunate and very lucky to have the opportunity to see Natasha play here tonight. And I have a even bigger suspicion that the next time any of us have an opportunity to see her play again, it's going to cost us one hell of a lot of, a lot of money. Those tickets are going to be flipping expensive next time we get an opportunity to see Natasha play. Big hand for her now. Thank you so much. That was awesome. That is a master concert pianist right there. Next up, these three young men, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, our, uh, our introductory courses are now being cleared. Uh, so if you haven't finished yours yet, do it now. I'd like to welcome, before that happens, however, Mr. Nicholas Rhodes on guitar, Dan Cunningham on bass, Lucas Hibbs on drums. It's time to jazz, my friends. It's time to jazz. How have you enjoyed your meals tonight? Yeah. Keep your applause going for the servers tonight. They've been amazing, they've been amazing. Our dining room manager, Henry, here tonight as well. He's made his way around and visited every single table. Now the Carmen's crew here do a very, very good job always. We're very lucky to have them in our, in our city. So as we continue to get ready for the second half, we're just assembling the awardees in the, uh, in the hallway and they're going to they're going to be ready. So we have the second half of the awards, which is, I believe, exactly half left. We have a special award at the very end. That is, it's, and it's the first time I believe we've ever done this one. This one is the, um, this one was it a, an addition, and it was an addition that uh, I found out about actually only when we went to the, uh, only when I went to my meeting to find out about it. So. We're now going to get started with the second half of the evening. And to introduce the next award, I'd like to call on Mohawk's Interim Vice President, Corporate Services, Mr. Tom Ferns. I felt that there was a lot of brain power there just now. It was like a force field that did not let me in. <laughs> Congratulations, Dennis, Jason, Seth. Thank you, VJ, Dan Blaine, and John. Interesting to note when I was uh, when I think about technology and um, and engineering at Mohawk College, uh, and our, our 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 president brings this up at all convocations. Mohawk College, prior to 50 years, we last year celebrated our 50th anniversary, 1967 to 2017, as uh, the Association of Colleges. Prior to that, this institution, not at this locate, not at Fennel location was known as the Hamilton Institute of Technology. And uh, my father was a graduate, so that goes back a long time. 1961 at HIT, and uh, uh, I always hold that as, when I went to Mohawk and found that out, I always thought that was very cool. So the, the lineage lives on and the tradition of excellence in engineering lives on at Mohawk College, and that makes me, uh, that makes me very excited. Yulia Borakova, everybody, who is uh, studying broadcast television. Congratulations. Well, there goes my job. <laughs> Whoo, better start coloring my hair now. <laughs> oh, and thank you, Bupinder and Jonathan, too, by the way. Um, to present the Academic Excellent Award for School of Community Justice and Liberal Studies, please welcome program coordinators Elizabeth Sykes and Anne-Marie DePape, Professor Michelle, uh, Michelle Gibbs, Richard Wiggers, an Associate Dean, Liberal Studies. All of them joining us on the stage together right now as a big band. <laughs> You're very lucky to have a college president who has, is as engaged in the students as he is. Um, I've heard phenomenal things about how things have continued, do continue to progress at Mohawk College and evenings like this are made possible uh, at great expense, and that is, and also the convocation ceremonies that uh, those of you who have not gone through yet will go through, and that is all a testament to the to the super high uh, expectations of your presence. So a big hand once again for President Ron McCurley, please everyone.
This does conclude our evening. We welcome you to stay, of course, take photographs, continue to hashtag Mohawk C-O-L, hashtag Mohawk C-O-L. Uh, you can linger or loiter a little longer. Celebrate your wonderful accomplishments because you deserve it. Uh, bar stays open until 8.45, that's about another half hour. For those of you that are taking the shuttle back to Fennel Campus, the first one will be leaving shortly. Uh, and there will be a second one that will be leaving shortly thereafterwards as well. So just check with any of the, because the time is not 100% right on, uh, I don't want to give you a time, because the first one allegedly was to leave at 8.30. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> you got 15 minutes to pack it up. It'll be 8.30 or so, and then the second one will be 9 o'clock or so. But if you want to hang out here with us, uh, take photos, have some fun, you're more than welcome to. I have had a great time. Have you guys had a great time here tonight? <laughs> Hands up and make some noise if you are going to be graduating at the end of this particular school season. Let me hear you. <laughs> Seniors, behold. Well, then I can't wait to see your nervous selves lined up beside me as I get to call your name. Good night, everybody. Have a great time. Congratulations.